Hello everyone, Ellington here, and here we are with something new. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. So, I don't know about you guys, um, I am kind of in one of the, I'm, I'm part of the generation that literally grew up almost age for age with these books, right? So as these books were coming out and these characters were getting older, um, I was getting older. So Hogwarts and Harry Potter, the Harry Potter world, were very, very large part of my childhood. And that is what makes me so freaking excited for this game. And I, I'm seriously pumped to get into this. I really hope you guys enjoy watching these videos. I want to do a playthrough of this game. I will tell you right now, I'm going into this with almost literally no knowledge about this game. Um, I have, not even on purpose, but I have been able to kind of avoid or somehow avoid really almost any detail about this game so far. So I'm going into this completely and totally blind and brand new. Um, but I hope that that kind of lends itself to the... Kind of like true reaction of mine to the game, okay? And I really hope you guys enjoy this. We're going to get right into it. As you can see on the screen right now, we have my acceptance letter or my invitation, whatever you want to call it. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term, feast, and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. All right, let's go ahead and hit start game. We're going to get right into it. Oh, a character creator. Okay, cool. I, I wasn't sure if there was going to be one of these in the game or not. Um... So let's take a gander and see what we've got available to us, you know? So are we just kind of picking a kind of relatively generic? Uh, let me see. I'm going to create this character based off of the Ellington name, which comes from a D and D family line that I created uh, as part of Dungeons and Dragons. So uh, the Ellingtons are famously blonde. Um, so we got a couple here, um, I think really this one seems to be probably the best for that. Let's go ahead and move on. Aha! So we got some face options. We're just looking at the different colors here. This is probably going to be the best option there. And hairstyles. Okay, so the Ellingtons typically... So the two Ellington characters that I specifically made for Dungeons & Dragons, one was named Gorin Ellington. He um, was the kind of the first of the line. Um, he had short cropped hair. Uh, but then my second... Or the very first, like real character I played for a real Dungeons & Dragons campaign was named Draco Ellington, and he had a long hair. He was a paladin. Um, so I'm trying... Let's see what the, the, the options look like comparatively between, like, the long hair options and then the short cropped options. So there, there's some, definitely some decent hairstyles here. This is, I believe, the original style that came on his head. Like, the, the one that I picked. That was just a little too, like, I don't know, frat boy. But 
don't mind kind of the shaggy long hair like that. Sure, we'll go with that. Complexion. So let's we got some scars and stuff like that. Get rid of that. Yeah, that's not bad there. Let's look at some eye. It looks like eyebrows, eye color, stuff like that. No, they definitely go in the blue there. Then some like different eyebrow shapes. Unibrow? Come on, unibrow. Got one with like the missing hair, like you had a scar. I think that one looks fine. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student. That, that was quite one. something. A few. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am. That was quite something. Normal. Once again, I don't really know what I'm getting into yet, so we're just gonna start this way. Name the character. Um, I think we make it an Ellington, right? It's part of the Ellington line, but we've already had a Draco. We've already had a Goron, like I told you in D and D. So why don't we come up with a new Ellington? to go with here Garrett Ellington we'll start with that start your journey here we go ha yes da -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. now from what I understand this takes place in like the late 1800s it appears, to depart. it's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. Oh, yeah, we've That's been practicing. A, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. A second hand? Thank you, Professor Fate. I appreciate you working with me all the time. I will say... Hold on, hold on. I don't know who this guy is. George Osric. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliazar. Mm. Of course. Well, how secretive. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Of course you can tag along. Come on on. Come on. Professor Fig after you. Look at that barn owl up there. Beautiful. Be good to see the old pile of rocks. So there's one thing. I'll, we'll see if it's if it continues being prevalent. There's something I noticed on the voice changer when I changed the pitch a little bit deeper. It sounded like it got a little bit robot-y, robotic I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, robot -y. Who's this guy? Who are you in the top hat? Whoop. He operated away. So we'll see if the, that robotiness um, sticks around. Warner Brother Games. Hopefully it doesn't make us go through a whole thing here. I don't mind the cutscenes, talking to the characters, learning the the uh, stories and the kind of relationships and stuff. But part key games and Wizarding World. I remember doing the the, the Hogwarts house test years ago. Which, when you do get into this game, it has like a link your account thing. And I believe since I linked my account, I think it goes off what my test scores were on that. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling a companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. Okay, it's not That's there. Strong. I think we're okay. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. 
So apparently, I was accepted, as like it said, as a fifth year. Have been honing their magical skills for four years now. The headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Thig is not only Sorry, an exceptional teacher. I'm trying to teacher, let you guys hear the this a little bit. And gifted wizard, Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> what does he do at the ministry? Have you seen this? Goblin I Rebellion. Have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the ministry, what's that? I believe he is a significant Look like a spaceship. Threat. And it was your wife, Eliazar. Who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died. Oh. Wondering poor what guy. the ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me. Is that a uh, uh, crypt cryptex? But with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. Kind of looks like a cryptex. To keep it safe, presumably from Ranrock. If you don't know I what a cryptex is, is, the best way I could describe it is look, uh, look into the it Da Vinci Code. Like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I Sorry, I bumped my mic. My mic. A glow. I don't see a glow. Do you guys see? Oh, there's a glow. That's a key. How did you wait? We did. Yeah, it was a cryptex, but it. Whoa, it's a fucking dragon! The fuck? Excuse me, sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. Uh, but. Definitely did not see. Oh my. Wait, did he just kill him? Oh, he did! And now that he's. Oh my god! That, okay, that's cool. I got to admit, that's cool because you can't see... Um, oh, God. My brain just went blank. Um, the, the the invisible horses. You can't see them until you have seen somebody die and they just saw the guy die by getting killed by the dragon. Then they could see the horses. That's actually a cool little detail. I, I like that. Where the dragon came from, it looked like it had some sort of, like... Uh, Maybe like a controlling collar around it. it. Had some sort of like collar around its neck, and I bet that was like a right? something that was forcing it to be, you know, used You're to somebody's hurt. will. Whose Perhaps will this. that is? I don't know. Take this. It's Wigan Well. Wigan Well. That stuff will write you in a second. So I guess I'm a little banged up. G to heal. All right, all right. G. Here we go. All right. Yes, the green liquid. Look at that, my health bar, all the way to what full. Happened? Poor George. Wow. I believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? Typical dragon when it's eat. I tell you, I already said it. So, where are, are we? we? Let's I'm look around. Sure. But that key you so we're in a cave, key. and it's a pretty... An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a yep, specific just place. A cave. So the key okay, was a port a key. key. Literally a port key. It. You know, you, what we're used to is port keys are being like random but fucking stable. items like a boot. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, WASD to move. I gotta say, like, I love the style. Uh, of dress from this era. Like I said, I believe it's late 1800s, if I remember correctly. So, got some ruins oh, over there. Take us. Took the us to the ocean, apparently. The Scotland, the okay. So, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. 
and I, and I was able to open it for a reason. And now George died in oh man, of his, his wife and now to. the friend were if killed. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. All right, so we're going to mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the pool key that brought us here? A good question. Jump or climb. Miriam spent I mean, the controls are pretty much like any, you know, open world magic. Uh, ancient magic. game you're ever going to yes. play. WASD, space to jump, yada, 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 yada. That seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with so that. There's sir. another cave here. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. So we probably have to go up here and then take so, this down. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. So this looks like a door. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Well, that Let's would be obvious, yes. Oh god, here we go, guys. Focus Our first wand center. work. Perform. So it's just clicking. Okay, interesting. Excellent. Use your camera to select an active target. Whoa! Whoops! That was a bit rougher than I expected. Okay, I mean that's I kind of like the simplicity. It's not crazy. Thank you, sir. Yet. And honestly, the like targeting is pretty easy. It's got the you know it highlights the thing that you're looking at. I kind of like the the wand movements. We're it's it's now. very it's you know straightforward. I do wish there was a little bit of maybe personalization in in the like wand movements. Maybe you could choose like you maybe you're a more aggressive caster or a passive Steady caster, because that is something that is you know very very We're normal there. on uh, you know in the Harry Potter world is that like each person's casting is very different. You know, Harry Potter casting a spell was very different to Hermione casting a spell. And I kind of wish that was something maybe you could do in the character cr uh, creator would be maybe a little bit of like choosing how your uh, character is when casting a spell. Maybe that's a little too specific of a detail, but for me, I think it'd be kind of a cool thing. I don't know why I'm busting these things. I assume that later on, that becomes a relevant, like, you know, maybe the pots have things in them that you can thought or collect or, you know, whatever. But as of right now, since we're in kind of the railroad part of the game, there's probably not much that we can get out of it. Let us hear for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. I don't know, the whole thing is out of place. Any match shows your surroundings with the uh, in the middle. Okay. Professor, it's a mural so of some kind. So we got a wizard Perhaps and maybe a divination stone. Then another, the same wizard looking at the stars. Okay, where else can we go? Looks like we can go around here. You can look at this is Professor, apparently the same wizard. This, statue. this may have been his home. 
So it seemed to be the same wizard from the mural. Okay, so there's aha enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. It almost looks like the mirror of Eriset. You know what I mean? Can we just keep going? No, okay. So there's Professor Fig. It's a very, oh, very oh. El like elegant Why inside to that. that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Investigate. It is, look at the symbol. I'm sitting here pointing at the screen like you can see me pointing at the screen. The symbol on there was the same symbol as what made the the back of the key. I don't believe it. Oh, now we're inside. Interesting. This looks like an organ, maybe? Oh, it's, it's a goblin. And he's snoring. We're at a bank. Goblin banker. Is this Gringotts? Like, a, a supposed to be Gringotts or something? <clears throat> oh my god! Look at those nails. It can't be. Does Mr. Potter have his key? Maybe this is uh, our, <laughs> like, ancestor's home or something Ooh. like that. <clears throat> okay. Quirky goblins, always, always a win. Welcome to Gringotts. It is Gringotts! Yeah! Woo! Vault number 12, I presume. So is this before Gringotts is in Diagon, Diagon Alley? The key. White's Porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. I'm intrigued. Hopefully Stick you guys are enjoying this. Please tell me in the comment section, what is your Harry Potter experience? Did you guys grow up on it like I did? Um, was it a big part of your childhood? You know... For me, it was a huge part of just getting into literature as a whole. I love reading. Um, and Harry Potter was one of the big things and that I loved reading. I've read the, the series many times. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it. Actually, I'll be honest with you. The What got me into Harry Potter, though, was a girl. There was a girl that I was into I'm when I was in Potter. elementary school. Hundreds. I know. Like, fact, whatever, but um, and she, I remember, it was always carrying around a Harry Potter book, and so I started reading Harry Potter because I wanted to relate to her more, and just fell in love with the book, not with the girl, but with the book. Look at this, it's crazy. It's, wow. Just that amazing. Washes away all enchantments. It's a security so we're in Gringotts, but the before, not Gringotts in... These are the it's interesting, it's almost like... Huh. Vault number 12, four centuries, so 400 years ago. Settle in, we've quite a distance to go. So that puts the founding of Gringotts in the 1200, no, the 1400s, excuse me. Math. You know what I mean, math, math is a, yeah, math. Vault number. Vault number. Vault 12. Number 12. To give you an idea, if I remember correctly, I think Harry Potter's vault number was like 867 or something. Way. He's just like, okay, weirdo. Why you gotta be so rude? Why you gotta be so rude? So the guard trolley was like going a different Professor, way. Hmm? The armband that guard was wearing was glowing. 
Like the glow you saw on the porky container. Man, the darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Interesting. Yeah, we so, like, there's a red glow on the... The over at the oldest section of the bank. The bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Uh, the, the red glow on the dragon's collar apparently was on the... I, get, I didn't catch that. It's interesting. Look at this. This vault is all by itself. Here we are. I do find it interesting that when we showed up and gave the key, a name was never given when as to the who the key belonged access. to. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault like, 12. As soon as I talk I'm about sure there being no is. name, somebody, they talk about a name. There was a thing to investigate. It looked like a chest sitting outside of the vault. Interesting. Vault 12. Now, we know that the really high security bank vaults have a much higher, like, uh, harder way to get in. The, the goblins actually have to do stuff uh, like use goblin magic to get into it. Like you open the chest and there's nothing in the chest. Okay. So what apparently this vault. Be looking for? I'm not sure. Look at the so, wall. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the whole Close the, key the door. And then close the door. Okay. Goodbye. Boy. Interesting. Best of luck. Now we're locked in. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> I like the goblin. All right. So we got some like gold chalices here. Revelio. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. How am I supposed to? Okay, did that wrong. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, interesting. It's a little quirky, but we'll, we'll figure Perfect. it out. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Oh god, it's gonna make me do it again. A door. Well, same that's symbol. Start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If and on the key reveals the way symbol forward, was on the key then i dare say we are about to discover the secret of this but if i touch it the it'll way. open the door yeah see i'm a, i'm gonna assume it has something to do with our ancestry this is no ordinary vault i suspect we will need can to i cast lumos too here. professor or is that too hard for me do you think this is some sort of test i do but to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Can I cast Lumos too, Professor? God. Sure would be nice. Sure sounds tough. I see something up ahead. There we go. What is it? I don't again. know, Professor. Let's go find out. Stand on it. Investigate. What happened? Okay. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling. Do you hear about. that? It's, there is Are a little bit right? of that robotiness. Yes, sir. The voice. I'm fine. You oh seem to have caused the floor to change. It's like that icy statue. or glassy or... What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellio again, I assume. Rebellio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. 
Looks like a, a chess board. Chess there, piece. But the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, hey, look. I can use Lumos? So it looks like when you press the buttons, it just gives you a little bit of a boost to keep you away from that, like, thing that's chasing you. Because that red, when it hits you, you have to recast the spell. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. Yep. It does follow the light. When you move, he moves. Okay. Interesting. Get rid of it. And now it's just backwards. Ooh, there's a line. There's a line. Uh, uh. Oh, I bet it is a chess piece. Come on. No, no, it's not chess pieces. Look out. Yeah, this looks... Uh, Protego! Oh, I was going to say my duck no, but... That was a lot of... Objectives to reveal the way forward. The ow. Let me get better at that. So I feel like I need to be doing something. Other than just like attacking these guys. Ah, oh, damn it. The combat's kinda cool though. I gotta I gotta give it that. I wish I knew a bit more spells than just this thing that I'm using, but uh, which I think is just Reducto. Well, it's red, so it could be, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's reductive that I'm using. Stay close, Lumos. Okay, so we just had to kill a bunch of them, it seems. Wait, what, where'd he go? Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, where are you? So there's these this things leading good. this direction, so we're gonna follow go. these. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah. Ah, that's where they're leading. Look along again. So here we have another okay, so we have two statues, three statues this time. They're all kneeling down. Lumos. So we're gonna use our Lumos. Uh, let's do Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. And then we'll do that again. This line seems to be leading. Well, it stops at the edge of the. Seems I have no choice. I'm gonna have to fight my way out. Oh man. Lumos. Oh, I think I um, stopped too soon. with their reflections. Oh shit! And then I was too late. There we go. Now I get a hang of it. 
Hold Protego to uh, during hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counter attack. Interesting. Okay. God, I keep trying to tap space when you need to hold it. Ah, damn it. Keep getting chopped by swords, guys. Just to reveal the way forward. Oh, uh, so it's stupefy that I'm using, it seems. thing off. There it is. up against this like pillar there it is so I had to get it three times basically and now I think I just need to destroy the rest of them I think we're done Woo. get spicy probably finish this tutorial and then I'm probably going to end the video with that. I don't know how long the tutorial is going to go, um, but yeah. Lumos. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. Okay, follow the will-o'-wisps. They are telling me to go this way. So you can hold shift to run. Okay, here's a like a statue of that symbol that we've seen. brings up a door. Interesting. It's almost, a, it's a, it looks like almost like a door, just like the one we saw before. The door like before. Why is my screen like all red around the edges and now it's blue around the edges? Okay, we're gonna go up to this, investigate. There's a vial of some sort. So this looks like a pin sieve. So a pin sieve is used uh, to view the memories of someone and I'm betting this vial has memories from someone in it that we're probably going to pour there into the pensive to see someone's you... memories what is this place I don't know but I found this floating above that basin and I bet he's about to tell me that, that this is, is a pensive <laughs> sorry basin. guys I'm giving you lore dubs memories. before even getting into the lore dubs I wonder. Oh, man. Pour it in. Let's see whose memories they are. Very nice. Follow my lead. It's a little awkward, like, but whatever. So this looks like it could maybe be the wizard that we've been seeing, right? I would assume that's who it is. The wizard that we've been seeing in the paintings and stuff like that. Charles Rookwood? Perhaps too well. Interesting. So the Rookwoods are a one of the thirteen. It will only be impossible for one who can. Uh, thirteen are the, the thirteen wizarding families of pure blood descent. Be enough, Percival. 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others Look will the wand there. To obtain. Yes. It, it almost gives. The ritual wizard who it almost gives a Voldemort vibes. And the responsibility that accompanies it. Like his wand is what I mean. We've done all that we can. Like the shape of it. That's what you see. You might recognize anybody the who's a Harry Potter fan. Surrounded them. Yes, sir. Fan. Astonishing. Sorry, I'm trying to. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed. Try not to talk over these cutscenes. Could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's God coming. Damn banker. Who were they? I don't know. Mm. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. Oh, this guy looks like a right. dick. Look at his eyes. They're red. Well, They're glowing right. red. Seems now this uh, yeah. reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just look at that give me whatever it is you found here, it's and we can cool. let bygone be bygones. Yeah, this guy's totally bad guy. Totally evil. <coughs> Red eyes equals Sir, evil. They had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I. I don't I hurt only the meant banker. That the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with oh. the key, and you didn't have them. Poor guy. Oh. No patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you. Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Goblins have a pretty powerful magic of their own, kind of like house elves do. It's different to what human magic uses, but uh, it's powerful in its own right. Okay, so interesting. The vault is responding in kind to the attack that has happened within it with a huge, great, giant titan monster! Pew, pow, ooh, ah. So, do we escape while this is happening? Looks like. It honestly almost looks like the... Oh no, is it gonna block him out? Okay. Whew. Thought it was gonna block his escape and not let him out. Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> this is going to be the game of where the hell are we? Hogwarts. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with... That's going to be the path to Hogsmeade, I betcha. To end up here. Come. You hear the Harry we Potter the ceremony to get uh, jingle in the back there? I don't know if you guys caught it or not. Okay, not to me, but we're we're here. You know what I mean? It's it's we're in the general vicinity. There's the train. Got owls, and there's looks like just okay. So there's the gates to Hogwarts, and there 
it is. Honestly, I'll tell you right now, the main thing, I, I think the game looks great. Um, once again, this is my very first time even seeing it. Wookie Games Hogwarts Legacy. I will tell you, if it gives me the opportunity to save here, I'm, we're probably going to end it here in just a moment. Um, the future episodes are probably not going to be quite this long, um, but obviously because this was a, you know, spent like a intro thing, getting through the backstory and stuff like that, it, it ran a little bit longer than I would probably usually go. Um, but we're about to find out, because I don't know. We'll see what it gives me the option to do here. Okay, Tech Guru is still in it. It may make me go through, like, the sorting and stuff before it lets me out of this. I don't want to oh, skip good. anything. I'm enjoying this. The sorting ceremony. Please let me know in the comment if you guys are enjoying this. The more you guys let me know this, the better, you know, the more it helps me kind of know that, hey, these are people like me doing this. Good old Garrett Ellington. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Look at that dapper guy. Who is said dapper guy? Phineas Nigellus. Oh, Phineas Nigellus Black. All right. Prepare yourself. The to headmaster. The headmaster. If you don't know who the Black family nice is, think Sirius Black the sorting from the Harry Potter over. movies. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Wow. All right, Dick. If you're lucky, we might still The Black flame family is also easy. a member of... I believe it's... I think it's the 13, if I remember. I'm a little uh, rusty. I'll be in touch. looking it up right now as we're watching this. Oh, Sacred 28. I don't know why I was thinking 13. It's the Professor 28. Weasley, one more to be so, to give you some names, we've got the Welcome. Black family, the Bullstrodes, the Caros, the Crouches, Malfoys, Parkinson's, Ollivander... Let's do the sorting here. I don't know what it's going to ah, yes. do. How it's going to handle older this. Than the others, aren't you? Yes, I am. You I'm come sorry. here with preferences and preconceptions, certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. To exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. We'll take your choice into account when sorting you into the other or into your house. Um, Gryffindor is what I scored. Gryffindor, like I said, I've done a couple different tests, and they always come out as Gryffindor. The Ellington family, like I said, for D and D, one was a paladin, one was a not a paladin, but a a you know, knight type. Um, I, I really think Gryffindor honestly fits the family bloodline. So we're going to accept. Better be Gryffindor! Now hopefully, now that we're done with the sorting, we can probably end. Hopefully, maybe, sort of. Hey, we got our red and black robes on. Hey, there's a Weasley. Guaranteed that's a Weasley. Guaranteed that's another Weasley. 
Guarantee we've seen three Weasleys oh, already. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Boo! Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Huh? But don't tempt me. I do know that is one you thing I knew about the game, that there would be no Quidditch, or no Quidditch, and I think I'm that sure is a you huge to do boo, boo, boo. Tomorrow. I, I don't I like that said, at all. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. This guy's not very nice. I don't like him. Where's Dumbledore? Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their Her comment? hair is I not red exactly. enough to be a Weasley. As I was it's playing, kind of red, but it's, it's not Weasley. that. It's more auburn than red. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. Listen to I that. I don't like that this, voice, and it it's driving me nuts. To show you I to completely your totally regret taking this voice. Right this way. They need to fix that. Yeah, it's It's bad. Nice to meet you. It's just like it's, it's most robot uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. It's a fat lady. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after these sorted. You yeah, were of course, a she, of course she was I a Gryffindor. It's a fucking Weasley. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? Fat lady's not very nice. The password is Grata Domum. What happened Grata to like Domum. the easy passwords you may enter well done now go on in and get some sleep you have a big day ahead of you tomorrow i should be back in the morning to collect you for your look at that tunnel time. it's tiny you have to almost like Thank crawl you, through this tunnel to get to the common room you enjoy your first night at hogwarts sleep well All right. We're at the next Looks day. Like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Let's see if we can save game. And that is going to be it for today. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. Please, if you do enjoy this and you want to see more, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, for those of you who joined to view, thank you so much. And if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.